Hello all and welcome to another episode of Let's Play. Let's uh, start by opening our chest. Let's see what we get. So we get parts, as per usual. As you can see, I've been raided a little bit. I've also defended once, and then I got beaten the next time they tried to uh, come up against me. Let's collect our resources and let's see what we've got to work with. Uh, what we've got now. So that's nice, we've got 6,478 metal. 120,000 gold, 84,000 wood, and what we got left to research. So we got landmines, and we got our rocket troopers. I did say we might use flamethrowers today, but we'll stick to what we've been using. Uh, unless all my troops die, then we may think about using them. So uh, let's try and go for a raid. That should be for that. How much do we need? So here's our new machine gun. It's eight. Uh, so we need 12,000 all in all, so let's try and get just around about another 6,000 metal. Uh, so we've got three, three human bases. We've got resource bases to try and take back, and we've got revenges to do as well. So let's jump straight in to a revenge, uh, Jeff. Let's see how we go. Okay, so Jeff's offline. Uh, what we need to do, ideally is try and take out the machine gun and the cannon together. Let's zoom in as much as we can. Don't want to miss our rockets. And I think we have no oh, thing cross for that. So two rockets, three rockets, marvellous, that's good. I think we can get one more sneaky rocket between these two. And we can, we've got enough points to lay down our cryo bomb. So let's start with our heavies. Rifleman slightly at the back, and let's wait for our slow troops to make their way. We're going to watch where they go. So they've changed the angle, let's try and go up a little bit more to the north. The troops start moving there. Let's see how far they get, hopefully the riflemen get just behind the heavies. Uh, they're sort of okay. We should be fine for now. We have got a hero now that's going to start to take our fire. So we took him out, we need the rifleman to go up north a little bit, to get a heal spell down nice and early. Get our cryo bomb ready, because we're going to start to take fire. As soon as we get there, we have to hurry up. Now, so let's move our troops quickly. Rifleman, that means you too. <laughs> quickly there. Let's get another heal spell down at the front. Take this flamethrower out quick. There we go, gents. Get another heal spell down as well. Taking out the headquarters. Now we can move our troops. That, that's it. They heard us. <laughs> now we can take our troops there. So we lost a lot of heavies this raid. But there's another win under our belt. And now we'll be good. There we go. So we only lost four heavies. I say only. <laughs> and five riflemen. Almost 2,000 medal there. So we collect that. We also get a claim for 2,000 metal. That's good. Let's get our chest as well. And what's this got for us? Ah, just 500. <laughs> it's being a bit tight today, isn't it? Okay, let's order our troops. And we need another 1,500. But we will carry on raiding. You can't just do two raids and end the episode. So it's all of them. And we'll wait for them troops to be ready. Okay, also now we're going to have a resource base raid. And uh, this is the same base we attacked yesterday. It's an ongoing fight between this resource base that we both desperately want. So taking out the flamethrower with three hits. And don't forget, as soon as our troops deploy, the rocket launcher is going to start firing. So let's start by really spacing our troops out. Heavies down first because they will take the hits for us. As soon as they come into range, as you see, they come under fire. Let's try and freeze that second so it gives us bit extra time to get into place and now we need to try and get our troops to that point as quickly as possible the rifleman would be good as we're taking a lot of damage now let's move these troops up into place as we also don't want them to get blocked and they don't always seem to be doing as they're told as you know what they're like our riflemen are taking the hits and we've lost two heavies this time, five riflemen. 
could have been better, but uh, we managed to take back the resource base. And now we have more than enough resources to do an upgrade, which we'll start right away. So we get a new machine gun. What levels have we got here? Eight, nine, four, and a two. So if we bring that back a little bit, just space these machine guns out a bit more. Actually, we need to change that one. We want the better one at the back. I think it's this one. No, it's a level four. It's no good. Level nine at the back. There. There's the four. The four is here as well. So maybe we just bring both of them down a little bit more. And we can use our number two machine gun to help out the rocket launcher, because that's the way I go in. So we have a bit of cover fire there for the rocket launcher. So let's get back to our base quickly, order our troops, and then get down to another raid. So as I said before, I find the machine guns more of a pain than the mortar. So we'll use all that we've gained overnight and the couple of raids we've done to get that in motion. Uh, let's move our machine gun to the front, because it's no use to us there. Uh, yeah, let's put the cannon there as well. That there, try and space their buildings out a little bit so they can't freeze all of our buildings in one go. Let's put that there. I don't know we're connecting buildings, don't want to do that, but that gives us a bit more room now to fire upon an extended area, not be so bunched up. So let's order these troops and pause the video. Okay, so we're going to choose another resource base. We do need to try and keep up with the resource bases. So what I'm thinking of doing is taking out the cannon on the left with rockets. Hopefully the mortar takes some damage or not. Okay, so it does. It was a little bit... I don't think I will destroy that before anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So what we're going to do now, we're going to come in from the bottom right. And as the troops get further up towards the two cannons and the mortar, we're going to freeze the whole section. So as soon, there we go, as soon as them cannons start to change, just move her quickly back a little bit. Let's start to get our hill spell down. And let's try and move our riflemen towards the back, because we don't want them to take as much damage. So we keep an eye on things, let's lock up that area there. That's going to help a lot. Hopefully we can start to take these buildings down real quick, because we're running out of men here. Quickly move our troops back there. Let's get some paratroopers down in that slot there. They won't do much damage, but they will take some fire for us. And now we should be good to go. We're definitely going to win this one. I don't want to speak too soon, though. No. <laughs> but I think we're going to do it. So let's quickly move our troops there to try and save some fire. And our hero should be able to finish the task for us. We'll keep an eye on things. The major damage at the back there, the hero, should be able to finish things for us. And we're going to keep an eye on our hero. Uh, Rise, I think his name is, I'm not too sure. But he's taking hits, and if need be, I could always move him. So there. And there you go. He's definitely not going to die now. Another couple of hits should go down, like so. So we've got a long way to wait for our troops now, because we lost most of our army. But we was uh, tactful, and we managed to win the raid in a hefty 6,000 medal. So hopefully this episode, we can try and get another worker busy. That would really help. I think we could maybe even afford a sniper tower right now. So let's see uh, how we go. But first of all, let's rearrange this base, because he can do the same to me. I don't know why people bother hiding these iron mines. Really no use, they don't fire upon people. So how can we tweak the space? Well, we could get a mortar that side, move a sniper tower from there. We can get a mortar this side, there's no point having two splashed together. Uh, let's try and prioritise now our sniper towers. To get the lower ones at the front. So we've got 10, 12 and 11. Also got cannons as well, hopefully all sevens, yes they are. So what we're going to do, we're going to get two cannons in here. Uh, can we squeeze one in the back here? No, no trees to remove. 
I don't really want to alter where the malts are, they seem like they're in a good slot for now. So let's diagonal about there, so they can't do what i just done, hit two with uh, rockets. There's the ten, so now we start to prioritise at buildings. So we've got heavy hitters there, we we'll space them out by two tiles. Um, move that one, another one that way. Try and squeeze that one in there. And now, these weaker buildings, maybe buy three tiles. Move them that way. That's it. So you've still got decent range to cover these buildings. And now he's going to have more of a trouble taking the base back. He can't snipe his way with paratroopers. Everything's well covered. He can't destroy all the mortars. So we've got every angle covered. And now we can move this iron mine into range, say there. So that's covered by enough buildings as well. Right, okay, so let's reorder our troops and let's get down to another battle and try and get a second worker busy. So this gentleman I found um, offline and what we're going to do is I think we're going to take out the machine gun that's being worked on, the mortar and the cannon. Now I know it's being upgraded but it will add to the ability points after destroyed so hopefully that works bit of concentration there because I don't want to mess up the missiles uh, what can we do now so if we put a rocket about there okay didn't quite reach the mortar but it doesn't matter we've weakened what we needed to weaken and now I'm thinking is there's a building over here the iron mine we're going to try and do what we've done the other day and we're going to try and work our way up there Let's see where the troops start to go. So let's try and get our troops going the right way. Guys, there we go. So hopefully they... Yes, they're going to go. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping I would have looked a bit silly, wouldn't I? <laughs> they went the right way. And now we can slowly guide them in once they're all ready. Right now, we're going to guide them up here as high as we can. That's the theory. They ain't going to reach there, though. So we're going to lose a couple of riflemen because they're towards the front. Keep an eye on our troops. And now we want to lock up that area there. Keep an eye on things and the timer of the free spell. And again, get a hill spell down as well. I'm going to try and keep our riflemen just at the back a little bit. Get the next hill spell down. And there's a bit of chaos going on at the moment. But we need to keep an eye on what's going on. As soon as the riflemen are ready, we're going to move them back here. The right, uh, sorry, the heavy is there at the front. And we should be able to finish this raid now with uh, minimal losses. Although our troops will still get fired on by the machine gun. We're going to lose a couple more. Yeah, that's a lot better than we've done before. So, sorry, I was a bit quiet there, but I was really concentrating because the men were a little bit different to how I planned it. But still, it worked rather well. So if you are thinking of putting a building out of the way of your base, that is not advisable, because as you've seen now, we are able to manoeuvre our men and wait to get them to round the side of the base, because one building is far away from the rest. So let's collect the goodies there. So we've got more than enough wood now, and we've got, how much we've got? 9,817 metal. Another long build time here. This is killing me, by the way. <laughs> but we will be able to afford shortly the next machine gun. No, sorry, we've done the machine guns. It's the mortars now. That's 12,000. And I think the sniper towers left is 10. So we could do a sniper tower for the single hit damages for the heavies or flamethrowers. So we'll see. Uh, what we end up with with a couple more raids I'd ideally like to at least get some research going so maybe the landmines which is 200,000 and this is how our map is looking uh, that's the resource base that I've took oh no that's the resource base I need to take that's the one I took earlier on in the episode and we've got two there so that's three two have been taken that's five six 
is mine and free to be taken. That's the one we keep failing on. Um, we'll see how we're doing. Uh, and we might even try a third time lucky to try and beat that resource base. You never know. We'll give it a go, though. So, at the end of the episode, I think we'd definitely try and tie that on. So, maybe a nice, easy AI base to take uh, the last couple of hundred we need for the Sniper Tower. And then we'll try a third time lucky on this resource base here. So, we'll see how we go. And we'll attack the AI base as soon as the troops are ready. Okay, well, so, uh, while we was waiting so long for the troops... The uh, metal we gathered, as you can see, <laughs> has took us over the threshold. So let's just get a sniper tower going. So in this episode, we've got two workers busy. We're going to try and take on a couple more bases because I do need some resources to try and get some research going. So let's try and find on a revenge list. Let's uh, visit, where is he? There he is, Wizard 1984. Because he beat me, let's try and revenge him. We tried twice, one successful and one wasn't. And he's offline, so maybe not. <laughs> I always do that, don't I? <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do here. As long as he's off, offline, as, of course. Uh, so this is a really nice layout. What we can do. What's these mortars? This has got really high level mortars there. Okay, that could be a bit of a problem. We need to try and get rid of that top, I reckon. If we can try and come along here, if possible. So let's see what we can do. Oh, all that talking and he's online. <laughs> That's not good at all. Okay, so let's try another base. Level 19, that will help, definitely. We can revenge him if he's not online. Okay, that's nicely spread out. We can deal with that. One cannon being upgraded, so we've got one more to beat. This is the type of base we like to come up against. And he looks like he's offline. Okay, so what we're going to do here. We can... We don't have to really worry about too much. But I do want to make sure that we take out this cannon, though it's quite far back. The heavies will come into range at some point. Two hits would be nice. Ah, I guess not. Okay, so three rockets there. We're going to try and guide our troops to the top of the map. Let's see where they're going to want to go first. Okay, they want to go there. Let's guide them. Come on, guys, go the right way. And get to there, that's about right. Now we take on the house in, work our way around the top of the map, as long as we don't get too close and too soon. Got to wait for these riflemen to get up here. So now the riflemen are starting to move upwards. Now let's get the heavies upwards. Uh, where, where, where are you going now? <laughs> Again, the wrong way, guys. Where are you going? Um... Let's just freeze there, because our troops have got a mind of their own. Let's get back to the top. Let's get ready with our next cryo bomb, which is there. We've got enough for another one. So as soon as it gets low enough, now, now we freeze again. Let's get some paratroopers down on the base for a bit of cover fire. Now we're taking some mortar hits that we don't really need to be taking. Now let's quickly move our troops. Quick, guys, go, go, go. That's it. There we go, so the one paratrooper is steaming away on the cannon. And we didn't lose any more men, and especially no heavies. So we only lost four riflemen. And what's the money like? Didn't even pay attention to the gold. It's 185,000, that's going to help a lot. Uh, let's order our troops, which are going to go down a little bit. So we need to win, ideally, maybe a couple of AI bases. To get enough gold and then we're going to go all out attack on that resource base that we've been struggling with okay so i quickly viewed this base before attacking it and uh we're going to take out the cannon and machine gun on the right hopefully three rockets no more than that so as we get it right which we look like we're going to do 
And there's a cannon here with a machine gun. So let's deploy our heavies and riflemen on the far left. As low as we can go. And let's get ready with our cryo bomb now. So we're frozen two buildings. And we're about to freeze again just there. And hopefully that's enough time for the cannons to be taken out. Which it is. So now let's start to get our troops in order. Let's get the paratroopers there. So the machine gun hopefully on top of the base will focus them. Which it does. So we're going to heal there as well. And we've taken this base on with no losses. Apart from the poor paratroopers. But they are expendable. Okay, so we've got 196,000, which is good. Let's uh, I'm gonna quickly scout the other bases so we get another easy one. So I'll be back very shortly. Okay, so this one's near enough exactly the same as the other one. So let's focus on hitting the ones on the right hand side. Hopefully, we don't miss our rockets. One more. Uh, okay, looks like another one that's free. And let's deploy it down low. And let's get ready with our cryo bomb. Say now. Again in a second. So about there. Now we've locked that one up. That should go down very quickly. And on to the mortar. Where are them riflemen going? They seem to be going the wrong way. Move the riflemen out of range. And we should be fine now. So we've got nothing to destroy. So let's just get the paratroopers down. Why not? And a rocket as well. No losses is exactly what we want to see. So we've taken that down and now we should have enough to start some. Oh, we've got a nice chest. Let's see what's in here. Okay, 2,000. That's good. So we've got over 200,000 now. We can start our research and we'll be able to attack as well. Where is the academy? There it is. So the landmines will help with a bit of damage on defence. It's only five hours, which is nice and short. And hopefully tomorrow we can try and concentrate on getting the last 300,000 that we need for research. And then we can try and open up more of the map. We may open more of the map tomorrow. So for the last row of this long episode, let's try and beat this base for the third time. But first of all, we're going to um, make sure he's actually offline <laughs> let's not make that mistake twice and today we're going to concentrate on coming from the right side uh, I've been doing some thinking on this and I think it's going to be best if we try and take out a mortar and I think the best one to take would be the one at the back actually no they're too high level we'll, we'll try that we'll try and take uh, a mortar out at the back Probably going to take four rockets. If it takes five, it does. Okay, so let's come out of there quickly. And let's go back into that base. As long as it hasn't popped back online. And we're just going to have to brave this one. <laughs> we're going to have to use the cryo bombs to their full ability. So let's get the troops down real quick. And let's make our way upwards. We're going to have to judge this just right. We don't want their troops to go wandering. We don't want the cans to start firing. There we go. We've managed to lock up five buildings now. And again. Lock it all up again. Come on, guys. Let's get a set of paratroopers in now. And let's get a rocket down on the flamethrower. We can get some healing going on. Try and keep out riflemen at the back because they are our damage dealers. Although we're taking a lot of fire, let's try and get the heal spell down. And if we can really concentrate on that one mortar there, we may be able to do it this time. So let's get a rocket down there. And let's pray for the best. I'm not sure if you can do it. Oh, and he's gone the wrong way. <laughs> so okay, we're going to have to wait for this um, resource base to be able to be changed because I can't take it on I've tried three times now and it's unsuccessful so I hope you like this episode we got plenty done today and we attempted the impossible so thanks for watching all and bye for now